A couple of weeks back, I posted a video about my 3D printed ball vise. The video did very well and I have been thrilled with the community response. But the design at the time was unfinished, and I've now collated and implemented a lot of feedback from viewers and the people who I let test the project. First, I've made a final version of the main turntable. The previous one used a cheap Lazy Susan, whereas this one uses a much more sturdy table bearing off of Amazon. Taking this indexing ring, we install four M5 nuts before installing it onto the ball which is unchanged since making it in the last video. There was a lot of helpful discussion on the process though, including the idea of sourcing old weights from wheel realignment centers, as an alternative to the rusty nails I used. It was also pointed out that the rust will cause the concrete to crack over time. Noted, but I'll be interested to see how long mine holds up and if I can reuse the plastic or not. Next, we must install a few pieces onto the adapter plate before we can install the turntable. With that ready, we can mount it to the turntable with M5 bolts. However, as is typical, my hardware store was sold out of what I came there for. But there is a scuffed solution to this. Buying instead 5 16 bolts, I can take these and run them through a die to recut the threads to metric. This is not an ideal solution. You can see the threads are much weaker, but for printing these will still be strong enough. With the adapter plate bolted to the turntable, we can mount this whole assembly on the ball. I then glue the dovetail adapter in place. This could be done earlier if desired. A hole is still left in the middle to allow access to the thread. My thoughts here were specifically for something like a ring mandrel to be mounted without having to remove the turntable. I install all the knobs, including a lock for the turntable, which was by far the most common piece of feedback for the first design. The biggest change from version 1 is the new extra large base. This begins with the printed components being bolted together with another 8 coupling nuts, then some glue and concrete, much like the first version. This alternate base allows for the ball to be augmented with all sorts of attachments that might help with different workflows. These are mounted either via the exposed upper threads or via adapter blocks that can be mounted between the base and the feet. The feet are now printed and use stick-on pads for extra grip. Here I have it set up with a few possible ideas I had, including helping hands, a magic arm, a simple tool rack, could be good for paintbrushes, a small gridfinity tray, a magnifying glass, and of particular note, a hand rest. This was another highly recommended add-on, and now that I'm using it, I totally agree. I went with a simple but robust option, inspired by painter's rest sticks. For comparison, here is me holding my hand still with and without the hand rest. I've only made one new work holding option and that's a remix of the popular PCB holder by Squin on printables. It slides and locks into the dovetail like all the other work holding solutions. Okay, let's see if I can get a good shot without getting my hand in front of the camera. See, this is comfortable, but then you can't see anything. <laughs> see, as I'm sitting here um, soldering, it is quite remarkable just how comfortable this is and how much control I have. Like this hand rest is, and you can you can see how. Yeah, still I'm holding it right now, and when I let go, you can see, even in this wide shot, you can see a notable difference, which is cool. Um, the workpiece is also right up by my face, so I'm not having to crane my head at all to look down, it's a very comfortable angle to work from, but the smoke's kind of above 
my face. So it's not really getting in it either, which is nice. I'm very pleased with how this project has come along. This will be my last dedicated video on it for a while probably, but if you have any ideas, the parts are open source and linked in the description if you'd like to try and make something yourself. Thanks as always to my patrons and to you, as always, for watching.